and my name is Tisa Mao. To run our program, first load the program finalproject.m on MATLAB. This will then prompt the user to load an image file. Then prompts user to select the blur method or the linear method. Um, then it will prompt user to locate watermarks that they desire to select. Then prompts the user if they would like to repeat the process. Finally, the user is prompt to save the new image or not. Linearization method is the first method in the program. The user selects where they would like to attack in the image. This method would attack layer by layer. Um, this would select the intensities of the non-watermarks and averages them and redistributes them. Then finally, it would select the non, or it will select the watermarks and then attack it. Um, the user selects an area on the image they want to attack. The program will run to all the pixels in that area and adjust the intensity of each pixel by the mean value of itself and the surrounding pixels. However, the image will be blurred. We will now show a video on how to run the program. So here, now we begin to open the file. And then typed in the desired image. And then selected the area that I would like to attack. Yes. And then it asked if I wanted to continue and I said yes. So you I typed in one again. And here you can see how it removed the watermarks pretty well and it masked over it. However, you can see it a little bit choppy. Now we are choosing to select another method, which is the blurration method. And we're picking the far corner of the watermarks so that it can crop out all the watermarks. Please don't mind my slow computer, as it'll take a really long time for it to load. There you have it, the new image. Would I like to save it? Well, yes, I would. And the file I would save it to as would be called done. Now we have some samples of images this is the original image of a watermark uh, and then we after linearization you can see that it's a little bit choppy but the watermark is sort of removed and with the process of blurring you can see that the watermark is pretty well hidden however so is the image and here's another example of the original image and um, blurring.